Sean Shaber 1000 here. What we're going to do today is we're going to try to mock this up and just kind of see where everything goes if I got enough stuff to do it. And sorry about all the racket. We are outside and I did turn the camera on. Turn the camera on, neighbor decided to mow, and the motorcycle decides to go past. So anyway, I got some bolts and stuff over here. Like I said, we're just going to mock it up and see if we got everything to put this alternator and this uh, smog punk back, back on and then we'll go from there. So let's check this out make sure we got everything. Okay guys, so I know about how some of this goes but I'm not positive. I'm not the one that took it apart. So I believe this goes into here. There's going to be another one that goes down here along bolt. But like I said, we're just going to mock it up for now. All right. These are just some tools that was laying inside the car. So I don't even know if I've got one that'll fit it. Yeah, that'll work. Um, but like I said we just need to see if we got everything to make this work and if we don't I'll make a list of stuff I can order or go buy or whatever uh, if we're missing anything it's probably just going to be a couple bolts that I can just hopefully just go buy pick up the hardware store uh, these are not hardened bolts, so it's not a big deal. It still has the diagram for the belt over there, so I know where everything goes. If I do decide to do a smog pump delete on here, I might try to do something with this uh, idler pulley here, you know, and put in place of it make a couple brackets like an old school an old school Chevy alternator bracket okay that's good enough for now like I said we're just mocking it up if you don't know what that means that's just when you put stuff on there make sure it's going to work before you tighten everything down so that's really all that means so there should be a, yeah, there's a hole there there's a hole down here the alternator is going to go up here so let's go ahead and put a nut on here just to hold it okay just to hold it for us um, I do have one of these brackets I think will go here yeah that's where that one goes that one goes right about there uh, let me see this long one here I figure is probably an alternator bolt that will go clear through let's see if it screws in yeah so this is going to be the bottom alternator bolt this bracket I have just noticed I don't know if you can see has been welded it's been broken welded so uh, if if we get it running and it's real good drivable car I will change this bracket later uh, right now we're just wanting to see how worthy this car is going to be of fixing back to back to stock or you know what I mean so that bolt will go in there Got a bolt here that should go down here yeah um, everybody thinks you take these smog pumps off it gives you more power it doesn't really act it doesn't really give you a whole lot more power guys it it really doesn't what it does though it will clean up the look of your car see how easy that spins it's not like a, an air conditioner compressor you know where it's going to bog your car down because really that doesn't take anything to spin that it takes a lot more to spin that supercharger than it would this okay so here's the original alternator that was on it So it would go on right there. 
and then I think this long bolt yes this long bolt will go through here so it's not gonna be a long video like the last one but And then this has a bolt that goes through there. Now, I don't think I've got the bolt for that. Yeah, maybe I do right here. Um, I don't think it's the right one. But for now, let's just see. Okay, yeah, so that's how that's going to go. Everything lines up. That's a heck of a lot easier trying to figure out that damn supercharger, even though I got the book in there, but there's... I don't know if it's all there. You know? But, yeah, so that's how that's going to look. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure where the two bolts is for this. For this thing. That one looks like a fine thread down there, but I'm not sure. Um, I see a big vacuum leak right there. In between them two injectors. There should be a bolt down in there that held the, the plug wires actually, or these wires actually went up through there. But, so that'll go like that. And then I'll have to find a nut for this thing. And then this gets plugged in right here. This wire gets put on here. And then this is a ground. I think it probably used to go up here somewhere because it doesn't go. I mean, there's nowhere it can ground to down here. So, uh, I don't, I'm not sure about that ground yet. But that's stuff we got to figure out later. Whoa. All right. So, let me see if there's any more bolts in there or if I got any bolts that will work and that will work like they're supposed to. See this, this doesn't seem like it should go there, but this might be an add-on. That probably went to the other alternator that sat over here. That's what it looks like to me. And then of course, this one, would have came and routed up through here and then down here to the alternator so this is an add-on this wire here yeah see it just came apart yeah right there someone added that on which if we don't need it I will do away with it because if that was to run the other yeah they just I don't know Let's see what we got under here. If that was to run the other alternator, I'm not going to need it anymore. I don't know why they didn't just extend the original one. You know what I mean? I don't... Like I say, if you didn't do... <coughs> excuse me. If you didn't do the work on it, you don't know what someone has done and the reasoning behind it. You know? So... Yeah, see? <sighs> Dang. All right, let's move this over here. Yeah, that's what they've done. But where did it come from to begin with? I'd say this big one's an add-on. I'll bet you it comes from the bat or from the. Well, it might come from the battery. Yeah, I think it might. I'll have to trace that down, but I'm not going to use it because 
I'm 99% sure they ran this to the other alternator. So it could run down to the starter. But I do know it's a dead wire. This one is not dead. But let me see if I can find some more bolts to make this work. And if it does, we'll go ahead and tighten it up. Okay, guys, I'm back. Found a couple bolts for one for here, one for here. I don't think they're the right ones. But like I said, we're trying to get the car running. And once we do, then I'll have to go back over stuff and kind of get get the nitpicking stuff you know running rerouting wires and you know that sort of thing so I'll go ahead and speed you up through this and then we'll move on to the next thing Okay, now let's see if we can find a belt that'll fit that. There's two in there. I'm, I'm pretty sure the one I just took off is not going to be right because this wasn't on here. It just went straight up to the uh, the um, supercharger pulley. So I need to get longer bolts for here. That one's not right. This one down here is not right. Too big. Okay. There's one that will work. Okay, so let me go get them belts. One of them says right on it two inches short, so I don't know what that means. So let's just try them, see what we get. Okay, guys, I want to try this belt here. Kind of looks like the shape of what would have come off of here. So, I'm going to speed you up through this because this can take a minute to route this. So, I'll go ahead and flip you on fast forward. And then, uh, then we'll go from there and see if it fits. That one's not it. As you can see, it's too loose. So, let me try another one.
Alright, the belt is on. It barely went. This is one that said two inches short on it. Somebody wrote it on there in a yellow pen. But it it will work. And these belts do stretch. So I think it'll be fine. Like I said, I may do a delete on this later. Bring the alternator maybe up where this is. Run a shorter belt. Now I'm still going to have to keep it over here some. I'll probably just build a bracket to come from here down in here somewhere and straight over to that. Uh, won't be that big of a deal. So anyway, there it is. I can't start it up or anything yet, guys, but uh, now we know that's going to work. I'll take the bolts in and uh, get some matching bolts for it so they all match. I don't think I'm going to go with stainless. Look how dirty this thing is. Maybe later down the road, again, it's a project car. There is a header leaking over here on this side because someone's got a cross-threaded bolt in it. So that'll be a video in itself. That's going to be a pain. Uh, in an aluminum head. I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but I see a gap there. And uh, so this header is probably not even tightened up all the way uh, because of that reason. And like I said, as we go along, right now we just want to get it running. As we go along, all this stuff's going to be tucked back in where it's supposed to be and, you know, all that good jazz. All about detail, right? But we want to get it running. So our next our next little project is going to be see we got vacuum lines everywhere it's going to be the uh here i'll put you up here and talk to you for a minute i know you're crooked but so our next little project will be uh putting the distributor in and then the vats the uh I'm, I'm, I'll do the bypass. I'm going to make it myself. I'm not going to buy the bypass kit. Uh, so that'll be our next two projects. I don't know if I'll do it in one video or two. We'll just see how long it takes. Um, so I'll probably start with the vats. Maybe do that video and then, you know, because there, there's a million out there. There's a million out there, but uh, they're all pretty much about the same when it comes to that so it's it's not a big deal right here's where it says that let me show you right there two inches short but it's a new belt so <coughs> but like i say anytime you got a project like that you know this thing's not gonna be <coughs> excuse me like driving and cruising around for a while you know because it's going to take some stuff to like any wires that i don't need like this red wire is not supposed to be up here i don't know what it's for uh i don't know what this is for that kind of looks like a temperature wire because the oil pressure switch is is already hooked up this kind of looks like a temperature wire but you know i don't know so anyway, guys, I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to go in the house and get get warmed up and cleaned up. And I'll see you in the next one. So stay tuned. For tomorrow, I'm going to do a Shea Bear Breakfast Bonanza. So that should be interesting. I got all kinds of stuff I'm going to feed Monkey with. <laughs> so anyway, guys, Shea Bear, the Met the Man Legend. I'm gone for now. Big old vacuum leak right there, see it? Right there. Huh. All right. Uh, I'm not sure. That's the brakes already hooked. I gotta figure all that out. We'll see you next one. Bye bye, guys.